Peter Haddock, and I'm joined here by Colin at what is one of the greatest facilities for testing equipment we have in the Midlands here in Brown Hills. It's Midland Plant Training Centre. Colin, you're the man behind this facility. Wow, what a sight. It's huge, isn't it? And you've got so much we can do. We're here today testing a Dynapack brand new roller. But the last time I was here, I was testing a Komatsu, uh, which had all full machine control on it as well. So what a great sight here. What do you do here, Colin? And what's it all about? Okay, yeah, well, basically what we are, we are a training and testing centre. We cater for all local builders, construction companies, um, lads come in, do the training here, and then they can go on forward and do testing as well. It's an old cast mine. Wow. Yeah, luckily. And so we dropped very lucky on here. So we have free use of about 60 acres of land. So it's, yeah, it's really, really brilliant. It's, it's a working quarry as well. So they still extract clay out of here and it gets sold. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely fabulous for the lads because they feel like they're at work. Yeah, and I think that's really important, folks. You can get a site where it's flat, it's this thing there, and you can't feel the bumps like we've seen, right. the smoothing out of this particular thing today, the digging of the trenches yeah. in that heavy clay environment, yeah. which we can see across the UK. But you've got a big project down the road, Colin, that's yeah. happening, HS2, you're here in Brown Hills. We really want to get young people in the area to get jobs for the people that are locally impacted by that project. Mm -hmm. So it's an ideal facility here, isn't it, for people yeah. to bring people into the safe environment, get them trained, but maybe even just get them to try equipment. Uh, because we need to bring this talent in and then we need to obviously invest in training, don't we? So how can that work for people here and use the facility? Well, because because it's, it's you know, it is a big open piece of land and it's it's a very safe environment here. You know, there's no issues. It's going to be a bit like what HS2 is going to be. It's, it's you know, raw land. You've got to work it. You've got to get it to do what you want it to do, get it into the right sort of layers, positions, and all that kind of stuff. It's absolutely ideal. It couldn't be. It couldn't be any better. Difficulty is getting people in. It is a hard thing to do now because obviously a lot of youngsters they look at other jobs and other things. They you know they do think that the old industry is is a dirty old industry, and it's not anymore. You can see from this machine, it's a lovely machine. It's an absolutely lovely machine, and it's a it's a real upgrade from what rollers used to be and I think it's something this sort of thing is what will appeal to young people you know the fact that they've got such a new very technical machine to sit on and drive so hopefully people will start coming yeah and that's what we really is the message today this facility is here folks Colin and his team are there to support the industry as we need to grow also support operators into the industry but also you know get people to try machines in a safe environment if they want to switch to a roller or if they want to switch to an excavator and upskill themselves Colin isn't it yeah absolutely absolutely you've got to start people off with the basics. The basics are the most important thing. You can jump on a brand new machine with all whistles and bows, with GPS and, and control, machine control like you saw on that Komatsu that we had here. It's great when everything's working perfectly and when all, this, all the situations are dead beautiful, but it isn't always the case. And sometimes they've got to be able to go back to basics. And that's where we start really, with the basics. Uh, and then just bring them on and through and going on towards other things as well. Well, Colin, thank you so much for letting us use your facility today no for something that certainly isn't basic. This is the very latest machine in the in the country. It's smart technology built in. Yeah. You know, what we need from people like yourself and the industry is for that smart knowledge to be built into the operators that are going to be using these machines. It's a great facility, folks. Get in touch with Colin, Midland Plant Training in Brown Hills and welcome to a whole new world of real sight right now. Thanks very much Colin. Thank you.